Hi, I'm John Utek, and I'm from a company in North Central Oklahoma called Weatherland. I also represent Davis Weather Equipment. And if we'll back up, let's go ahead and take a look at one of the latest inventions from Davis Instruments. This is called the Vantage View. And the Vantage View is actually a fantastic little weather station. It has everything in this one compact weather station where ordinarily you would have to have several different pieces. For example, let's go ahead and take a look real quick at the wind cuts. You have wind cuts up here and down below will have a wind direction vane uh, and that way gives you an idea where the wind is coming out of. And we'll raise the camera up a little bit and we'll look actually inside and here is the rain bucket. The rain falls in here and goes right under this piece of black plastic. Now this instrument will also tell you the total precipitation. It will also tell you the amount of rain per hour that you are receiving at the particular location. As we look at this, we can also go all the way down and we see that in here, we have a small radiation shield. Inside that radiation shield is a temperature humidity sensor. This is great because it gives you the temperature. It also will give you dew point, which for a lot of chasers and storm spotters and emergency management personnel, the dew point is so important. Now, as we actually take a look at the underside of it, and I will go ahead and tip this up so we can see the ease that it is mounted. It's one pole and it uses a U-bolt to hold the entire weather station in place. This is the Vantage View from Davis Weather Instruments and Weather Lab. You know, another great thing that we have at Weather Lab is that we are very in tune to storm spotters, storm spotters and emergency management personnel. A lot of emergency management personnel need storm spotters. However, a lot of people watching TV don't realize what a storm spotter is. They think, well, it's a storm chaser. A big difference between professional storm chasers and a storm spotter. So what Weather Lab did was we created a video and this video is called Storm Spotters Know. And it's available at uh, different places on the internet. Just go ahead and Google it, and I'm sure you'll probably find it. It's Storm Spotters Notebook, Volume 1. In Storm Spotters Notebook, we tell you the difference. We also tell you everything you need to know about what it takes to be a storm spotter. Do you have to be a ham radio operator? Uh, do you have to have a vehicle full of all kinds of crazy instruments on top? You can find out all of the answers if you were to get the Storm Spotters Notebook, Volume 1 from Weather Lab and Tornado Alley Productions. Getting back to other items that we have, if we look way over here, we're going to see one of the Davis Weather Instruments Vantage Pro 2. Now this is the big boy of the Davis Weather Instrument line. So what is so different about the Vantage Pro 2 as opposed to what we just saw with the Vantage View? Well, the Vantage Pro 2, for one thing, has a larger rain bucket. And we'll go ahead and tilt the camera into the depth of this, and we can see that out of this huge opening, it goes into a very, very small hole. Well, as we back the camera up, I'm going to show you the secret of the tipping rain bucket and the models. Here's what they mean by tipping rain bucket. What happens is the water comes down, just like my finger does, it will fill up this side, and as soon as that teeter-totter action occurs, it reads the amount of rain that has fallen. And then more rain falls, fills up this side, and then it tips back. It's also known as a self-emptying rain bucket because as we'll take the camera over here, we can see that this side has perforations in the bottom of it. Therefore, the water comes out of here, right out of the sensors and onto the ground, and you don't have to worry about getting the inside of the tipping rain bucket wet or any of the electronics. So you can see this is really, really good. And yes, this is the same type of rain bucket that a lot of storm chasers across the nation use, storm spotters, emergency management, and NOAA. So this is always a great, great thing to have. It really gives you a good opportunity to find out how much it is raining and with rain rate, how fast it is raining. Now you may wonder why rain rate is so important. Well, the National Weather Service uses rain rate to determine flash flood guidance. 
if the rain is coming down so hard for an extended period of time, well, tell the National Weather Service Forecast Office whether to issue a flash flood warning in that particular area. And as we know, flash floods are, is the major cause of death in most severe weather cases. So let's go ahead and take a look at another feature. I was telling you about the anemometer. This is the large anemometer from the Davis Weather Instruments. So what makes it so unique? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this. This can actually be separated from the entire weather station. You can take this, this anemometer and raise it up to around 10 meters or 30 feet or so. And that is pretty much recommended by the National Weather Service. This part here with the radiation shield along the bottom, which also contains a temperature humidity sensor, usually you, you place this around two meters or roughly six feet above the ground. And that pretty much gets you right in the same line as readings taken by the National Weather Service. Now a lot of these items have solar panels on them. So let's take a look at this. This solar panel absorbs a lot of energy and operates the entire integrated sensor suite. And this here is in the antenna. It's a spread spectrum antenna which will transmit back to the display console almost 1,000 feet wirelessly. It is fantastic. So if you have some place backyard and you don't want to extend a bunch of cables all, all over the place, the wireless technology takes care of it. Let me show you what the display console looks like right over here to our right. As you can see, the display console will give you all kinds of information. It will tell you the wind direction, the wind speed, the amount of humidity inside, humidity outside, the temperature inside, temperature outside, the barometric pressure. And for a lot of uh, meteorologists, instead of using the barometric pressure, they can actually switch this to millibars. So it's a very, very uh, versatile weather station and display. You can also keep track of your wind gusts, the highest wind gusts, also your highest temperature, and what time of the day that it occurred. So as you can see, Davis Instruments put a lot of thought and a lot of technology into their weather stations. And of course, if you're thinking about buying a weather station or if you just want to have some more information, all you have to go is just get a hold of me from Weather Lab or you can also go to the Davis Weather Instruments site on the internet. It's that easy. It's listed as products. You can get software information, talk to salespeople, or even talk to technical people. So Davis Instruments is always, always developing new technology for you, the consumer and the meteorologist. It's great. So that's what we have here at the Storm Chasers Conference. Thank you so much for stopping by. For Davis Weather Instruments, Weather Lab, and Tornado Alley Productions, I'm John Utah.